Um, what is the, the literacy rate for your graduates? I don't understand the term. Uh, the term is unfamiliar. For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Are you Mr. Lane or is it Dr. Lane? Uh, Mr. Oh, hi, Dave Ridley. I'm with RidleyReport.com. It's like a poor man's TV station. Sure. I have a question for you. Sure. Um, what is the, the literacy rate for your graduates? I don't understand the term. Uh, the term is unfamiliar with the literacy rate. Okay. Um, I mean, you can define it however you want. If they're functionally literate, 60% of them are, 90% of them are. I, what, what's the number? We actually have a percentage number on that. Um, yes. We graduate, we had an issue uh, graduation rates around 94%, so I would have to say minimally that. And there may be a greater percentage, because there may be students who are determined to be literate, but just chose not to get the credits. Okay. So I really don't have a specific uh, percentage number for you. It's funny, because I've asked a lot of superintendents this question, and no one's ever been able to answer it. Are you guys getting too involved in stuff that's complicated and not the three R's? Well, I'd have to say that um, look, looking at the, looking at where, where our measurements come from, my, my goal is to make sure that every student can read, every student can express themselves orally, every student can use math to, to the extent that they're going to need it in the lives that they choose. At that point, I'm still working on getting that measurement, but that one I'm going to have. All right. Fair enough. Thanks for the answers. All right. Take care. Are you on the school board? Oh, a question for you. Um, what is the status of um, students' First Amendment rights? To what extent are they allowed to maybe do what I'm doing, run a camera and film school officials? Why is your budget going up? Are you on the school board? Yeah, I'm a business administrator. Oh, okay. Oh, I have a question for you. I guess uh, it's not entirely business related, but uh, inside this school, to what extent do students have First Amendment rights? Are they allowed to run a camera like I'm doing right now? Um, you'd have to ask the principals about that. Um, uh, they do have the right to know, just like you have the other taxpayer. The, the students? Yes. All right. Thanks much. Appreciate the answer. Are you on the school board? A uh, question for you. Uh, to what extent do uh, the teachers and adults here have Second Amendment rights? Do you let them carry firearms on school grounds? I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know. I wouldn't expect you to know everything. <laughs> I do. I do understand that you guys are getting laptops and iPads for every student. Is that correct? Something, something like an iPad or a nice, I, or a laptop for every student. If you can afford that, do you have too much money? No, it's actually very necessary for today's education. It's similar to what in the old days when it's like saying, do you need a chalkboard or do you need a, a paper and pencil? So it's it's uh, very critical, and if you look at any district, state, or even national, they sort of play and actually replace their textbooks. A lot of cases. Uh, so you think it could reduce sort of, costs in that sense? Yes, because I think what it does is sort of extends in a way in the school day so that you can take it all and actually uh, sort of take do some things uh, when you're not sitting in the, in the four rooms of the classroom. Now you heard about that scandal in, I guess it was Pennsylvania, where administrators were logging into students' laptops and looking at them while they were at home. What, is, what safeguards are in place to make sure that something like that doesn't happen? I'm not sure. Okay. All right. Thanks. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat. Dot lrn.fm. That's what I said.
a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.